Hey everybody, JS here, what's up? Um, lots of exciting stuff happening. We have a new series coming up on YouTube called The Anatomy of Hand Techniques that starts this Sunday, and it's excellent. Our first week is German grip, and I promise you nothing like this has ever been done before. I don't want to reveal too much, but I promise this is going to blow you away and you're going to love it. Uh, but today I was in the studio just messing around, warming up for myself. And I've always been a big Neil Peart fan. I have postcards from Neil, um, met him a few times I, since I was a little kid. You know, it was the first big drummer I was exposed to um, when I started playing drums. A, um, a friend of my sister's came in and said, hey, take that stuff off, listen to this. And it was working man drum solo from all the worlds of stage. And whoosh, I was hooked for the rest of my life. Uh, so anyway, so I was in the studio today and I was messing around and two of my favorite things uh, that Neil has always done was one was the crossover section of his drum solo, uh, his, his older drum solo, and he still does it now. And the other one was uh, a part of his drum solo called the rhythm method, where he does this really cool of a uh, type of tribal feel off his toms, uh, off his low toms and up. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to come in and give you uh, a, a basic little um, review and understanding of what those techniques are. They're actually very simple. They look really complicated because Neil's a machine. Uh, he's fast, he's precise, and he's got the timing of a metronome. So he makes this stuff look just so amazing. Uh, but again, when you break them down, they're quite simple. Now, I'm gonna just demonstrate the hand moves on my toms, uh, and this is open mic right now, so it's gonna sound a little weird. I have the snare turned off. But as far as the crossover itself, the essential is it's just single stroke rolls. It's Okay, it's very simple. One, two, three, four, one, okay? Very simple. Okay, that's the basic pattern. Uh, we're gonna go over it a couple of times right now. Let's take a, a few looks at it with the, with the mics on the right way and we'll come back and talk about it in just a second. All right, let's take a look. See, it's pretty simple. It's it's all about getting the, the hand maneuvering right. Um, when you're doing crossovers, just bringing your if you're a righty or a lefty, and you're just bringing your right hand over the left, or if you're a lefty and you're just bringing your left hand over the right, that's not really crossovers. That's a crossover. That's bringing one hand over. You've got to get that other hand coming back over to make it a true crossover. So really work on that pattern. Uh, another thing that Neil does in between the crossovers that you saw I did there a couple of times is just back and forth on the floor tom in between some of the crossovers. So as you're doing this maneuver like this and you're coming like this, you just a couple of times just come back over your toms and come back like this. It's very simple, okay? I'll play it a couple of times right now through the, the condenser mics, okay? Very simple to do. 
So definitely take your time with this. Go over those patterns really slow. Like I said, it's accented single notes and you just basic crossing over your hands how they make it makes most sense when you come here to here you're going to bring a right hand over when you come back and come here you're going to bring your left hand over the right it's very simple um so let's go to the second part the second one is one of my favorites this is the rhythm method um and it's only about three or four parts it's, i think it's four parts so it's and again it's very very simple but it sounds so cool when you put it all together uh, again, just through the regular condenser mic. The first move is only, it's a five stroke roll. It's right, right, left, left, right. But it's your accent. Okay, it's, that, that's so simple. The second part of it is Okay, and the third part is that's it. And then the last part is just a roll across the toms. So Okay, again, extremely simple. But what you've got to do is now you've got to kick in the bass drum with it, ride a straight constant four underneath that, and do an alternate hi hat. Very simple. Extremely simple again. Okay, so nice and slow. Okay, so let's take a look at that a couple of times. I'll play it slow, I'll break it down part by part for you, or I'll pull it back in slow motion if I need to. So let's take a look at that and we'll get right back here in one second. All right, everybody? As you can see, it's so simple, man. But when you get it down and you get it nice and you get those accents going, it sounds great. It looks great. It feels great, man. Neil Peart is the man, dude. And, and uh, 
You know, that stuff is so fun to play. And like I said, when you're in a bar and use those in your, your drum solo, when you're out playing in clubs and stuff, people love seeing it. A lot of other drummers know what it is. They, and they're going to respect the heck out of it. So again, everybody take care of yourself. Make sure you tune in this Sunday for the anatomy of hand techniques, part one. Much love, everybody. Namaste. Happy New Year. 2013, the year humanity evolves. I'll see you soon, everybody. Take care. Thanks.